with a zine, um, it was important to have something as a print publication um, for especially young artists to have their work kind of in print next to perhaps um, more established artists as well um, and to take like, a physical copy of their work um, away with them and to showcase it. Um, so yeah, I guess it's a platform for young artists who might not necessarily um, have spaces to publish their work and to offer that space for them. I think we realised that there is definitely a lack of opportunity um, just because a lot of young British Muslims don't actually know the ways to get into the art scene um, or more like formal structures to do with the arts, be that theatre or the music industry or um, like the visual arts or film. Um, we don't necessarily have mentors that we feel like understand the work that we're doing as much and that's just because like as you said there's kind of this lack of diversity at the top um, which affects your confidence in being able to see yourself reflected in other people. Everyone knew different people working in different sectors, but we all knew that we had this like common theme of being really interested in the arts and recognizing that there was a gap. Um, in the UK at the moment for young British Muslim artists to get together and to platform their voices. Um, so it was kind of just like, kind of chain effect. One person knew one person and we all just pulled everyone in because we thought it'd be great for the, for the work. I had never seen a collective like it before, uh, especially in terms of the vision, the, the idea that we wanted to support marginalized communities in getting their art out there was something that A, it was a surprise to me that there was so much art out there. And second of all, the fact that there were these people who were really passionate about promoting the art because they were artists themselves. It's the first time that I was ever around like-minded people um, and that was a really big sort of push for me to stay involved and get even more involved and that's, that's the appeal of the collective for me. It's a, it's a nice little home. It's not only for contributors who can be like, I've got my stuff published, but it's also other communities who be like, oh wow, we've got, we've got people out there who are valuing this work enough to put it in tangible form. And that's an empowering thing, and I think that's what the marginalised communities around England really need, is it's empowerment. Art isn't stagnant. There are, there, there are so many amazing artists that are changing the way that art is created and they're creating new forms of art which if you know if, if it's, you're having difficulty being accepted elsewhere this is you know we're, we're accepting of you and we we want to hear from you we want to be able to show your world your work to the to the rest of the world we disfigure ourselves to become men lay out our bodies on operating tables for plastic surgery to dismember our vulnerabilities they blow torch the parts of our minds that teach us how to feel mummify our bodies with muscles whilst breaking our bones to fit into caskets of masculinity. Who shop for their wives and daughters in the homes they raid. It dangles over the handle of the larger wardrobe. 
Islam, the Islamic tradition is, has a rich tradition of the arts, um, and that includes music, that includes like composers as well. Um, but I think that that was lost somewhere. Um, and I think that what we really need to do is, is to encourage that kind of revival, artistic revival. <laughs> Thank you.